other instructions. You got it. Okay, we're getting ready to mix our lime. We've got to take some safety precautions of uh, using, oh, what's going on with this? Um, some heavy duty face masks. We're gonna do some eye protection. Don's probably gonna do a face shield. And we need to have distilled white vinegar available in case we get any of this stuff on our skin during this process or anywhere because it will burn and the vinegar will neutralize the powdered lime. Doesn't matter what brand, any brand of distilled white vinegar. We've got a drill with a mixing paddle. And we're going to try to mix about two or three of the 50 pound bags in our um, barrel that we've got and let it sit there and hydrate, slake. Are you ready? Should we try these on? I'm going to take my glasses and my hat off. Too. I had this situated for me once already, but it's gotten twisted around somehow. I like it in the back. Ay, ay, ay. of water in there. We're getting ready to put one of the 50 pound bags of type S lime in there and we'll mix it up with the grill and a paddle mixer.
like number four. All right, there it is. Four bags of Type S lime, 50 pound bags, eight gallons of water each. It should look like the consistency of sour cream. I think that's what we've got. Now we're gonna cover it quite a bit with water. That water will sit on the top. Any excess water that's in there will also rise to the top. So at this point, it's now called lime putty. So that's the paddle that we used on the drill. You go slow, otherwise it gets too splashy. If you make it too runny, don't worry about it. Um, as it sits, the excess water, like I said, will come to the top and we'll leave the putty down below. I love it. I love it. I'll show you some of these other two bags and put them on the container. I love it. 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 I uh, making it dry powder with the sand and water and the ice for the line flat. We're going to try a few things here when they're ready. Uh, we're going to mix it in with the clay so that we get a nice water resistant, water resistant uh, bond on the outside and on the inside of the house. So that's it. We're going to put the lid back on and we'll be done with that. So it's going to be sitting there for a lot longer than 24 hours. Um, some people online suggested three years. We don't know that kind of time. So I put the lid on. The thing that some people even said that they've had some slaking for years. The better. Put the ring back on. And now I'll keep it closed. Come on. There we go. Alright. And there you have it. I'm putty. So yesterday we mixed our uh, lime, we slaked it, which is just another word for hydrating um, our lime so that it's ready to use when we go to, to need to use it on the outer plaster areas of the outside of the house and the inside of the house. What we've done now is it changes from a lime powder to a lime putty. So I'm going to open up the can now and we'll take a look at what we did yesterday. Uh, Yesterday, the last video that I showed before this right now, um, the water on top was very milky. 
and let's take a look and see what it looks like today. It should be clear. You should be able to see the putty down below. Um, we'll take a look and see. Hopefully we did it right. It actually didn't take us as long as we thought it might, but it, it went really well yesterday. All right, I'm going to open the bin. We had the tarp on it last night just to help keep the heat more than anything. So let me open the ring. Take a look inside. And hopefully it's nice and clear on top. We'll see. Wow, that looks amazing. A few little bugaboos in there. Get them out. Get out of there, fly. We'll take you a little bit closer. But you can see there's several inches of water between the lime putty and the top. We just need to check it probably every day since we're in the desert and make sure we keep that amount of water on top or even a little bit more. When we go to use it, we'll just simply go down under the water with either a shovel or a bucket, scoop up what we need as far as the lime putty goes, bring it up, all that extra water will pour off of that and we'll use that nice creamy uh, putty in our mix to do our uh, plastering with. That'll help give that plaster some resistance to the weather and to wear. And then after we're all done with that, we're going to go ahead and put the boiled linseed oil and that will give us even better resistance to the weather and any rain that we get during monsoon. So that's what we're doing this for. I see little piles, very interesting, mesmerizing almost. So there you have it. We'll check it every day. Make sure we got plenty of water on top. That's the key. All right, thanks for joining us this week. We appreciate it. I know it was just kind of a single type thing on our video today, just the uh, mixing of the lime putty. But I think that's an important thing to show because we didn't see a lot of videos out there that actually showed people mixing it and what you can expect afterward. So this is about 24 hours, maybe a little less than 24 hours after we mixed it to get this clearer water on top. It will probably get even a little bit more clear as, as time progresses. Um, but again, everything that I've read pretty much said, the longer you have it slaking, the longer you have it hydrating in that water, the better it gets, the creamier it gets, the more each one of those particles gets more hydration in it and makes it a better, creamier, easier to use product for your finishing plasters. So yay, we did something right. It feels good. All right. Thanks again. Remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe. We do appreciate your coming by every week and seeing what we're doing. We'll try to keep putting out more videos. Right now we're working a little bit slowly. Still kind of waiting for those lumber prices to come down a little bit. I don't know that they're going to be kind of plummeting. So we may just bite the bullet and go ahead and at least get the wood for the internal walls purchased get those built and in place. Um, we bought our hardware for the pocket doors. There's going to be a pocket door between the living room and the bedroom and the living room and the bathroom. So we'll have those probably in a week or two and we need to get the wood frames, wood frame walls up. So we'll take you along for that process as well. All right. Thanks guys.